Uh, my name is Tom Bell. I'm with uh, Halot Group. Uh, we brought you our Light Riser 10. Um, it started out in 2008 as a PT-10 um, push around. And we introduced it at ARA in 2008 as a push around. Um, and last year we brought it out as a drivable unit and we named it the Light Riser 10. You can, uh, you can see the distinct difference between us and uh, all the other scissor lifts out there. We're using a dual parallelogram style lifting device rather than your traditional scissor. Uh, one of the reasons for that is it's, it keeps the weight down and keeps some rigidity in the, in the actual structure. So you'll feel this is a little bit more rigid than most of them and it keeps the weight down. It also keeps the uh, center of gravity very low because the top end is going to be light. You've got an aluminum deck, and your center of gravity is quite low, which gives you great stability. <clears throat> Serviceability, you're going to notice we've got side pods on this that open right up, and you've got access to your hydraulics and electrical components. I'll turn it around and show you the batteries on the opposite side. So you've got two batteries on the opposite side. You've got your hydraulic components. You have your motor controller and your charger. And everything's easy access. The machine is electric drive. And you have a zero turning radius because of the casters on the front. The electric drive counter rotates so that it'll turn around to zero turning radius. The drive motors are electric, yes. No hydraulics. Having the electric drive as well um, keeps the hydraulic hoses to a minimum. So you've got a pump tank combination, you've only got two hoses. So there's four fittings on the whole machine, so uh, less, less likely to leak. Drive motors are shy, uh, just shy of one horsepower, and they're m mounted to a 37 to 1 degree. 37 to 1 gearbox, uh, and it's rear drive front caster. Uh, they're made by Euclid out of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. The hydraulic system is 24 volts, uh, pump motor combination with two 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries. They're lead acid batteries, maintenance free. And this combination is uh, Booker Hydraulics, which used to be Monarch, and they're made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. <clears throat> We've done the cycle testing on this machine, and uh, what our cycle test is, is drive it 300 feet, lift it once, bring it down, rest for 15 minutes. That's one cycle. We've done uh, cycle testing on this, and you will last two full eight-hour shifts doing that, that cycle. Slope sensor is two degrees, uh, and it only comes in effect while you're elevated. So when you're driving, a uh, slope sensor doesn't, doesn't cut anything out. When you're elevated, the only thing it allows you to do is bring it back down. 500 pound capacity, and it's rated for two people. <clears throat> the lift height uh, is 10 foot three to the platform, and 16 foot three working. Machine weighs 1,150 pounds. One of the other things you'll notice is the uh, passive pothole protection system. You can see how it's graduated here. We don't have a hydraulic system, it's passive. And the graduation is to get you up over top of a, a beaver tail uh, uh, tilt and load or a beaver tail truck. And it has enough that you can actually get over the beaver tail. We've used that on other products. It works very well. <clears throat> At the top, the controls, we're using both an enable button and a foot switch. You can use either or. It's your choice whether you want to use foot switch or the, the push button enable. Uh, it's got a multi-axis joystick for steer and a toggle switch for lift. So you're proportional in your drive and your lift is... Uh, uh, just on and off, so it's a bang-bang style of control. Emergency lowering cable on this side to bring it down. 
And we also have a manual brake release. It's just a lever underneath. You push up and you can push the machine very easily. And the, uh, the drive and the lift system is the Curtis, Curtis system here. Uh, this machine is built in uh, Archibald, Ohio. It's an American machine. Is there any questions? Yes, I'm going to. And that's your battery tray there. Um, they're 100 amp hour, hour batteries, maintenance free lead acid, 12 volts. And it runs 24. So all your componentry is uh, really easy to access. I'll just get up and uh, run it around a little bit for you. See just how rigid it is? Any questions at all? Uh, sorry, how do you... <clears throat> I'll just take it up here. Just give me a sec. You're going to have to block it with a jack stand of some sort when it's up, so it, it can be jacked with a jack stand here onto this. And if depending on your height, you're going to have to put a sleeve over the cylinder. There is no integral chalk on this. All of your components are on the outside, so your necessity to do that is very minimal. There's a hand enabler and a foot enabler, either or. It's not combination of, you can use one or the other. Uh, we had a customer that actually wanted the foot switch installed for his application, so we've decided to go with it on all the applications, so you can use either or. It is a standard feature, yes. It's aluminum, yeah, keep the center of gravity low. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, 11,250. Yep. One tenth of the platform is standard as well on this. You notice as well we've got the four clip pockets front and back. Rear wheels, uh, it's indirect drive, it's through a gearbox. Uh, two motors. Yep, two motors through a gear reduction. Yep, that's how you get the steer. You have to have two motors. Yeah, you've got uh, chain down points here. You can also use the cutouts and you also have a chain down point at the front. Thank you.